go. And boom. There's your boy. Yeah. That's your boy. There's your boy. There's your boy. Right freaking there. Right freaking there, dude. Yes. That's your boy. As an extra in the movie Free Guy. Now this was the largest film set that I had ever been on. Now as a filmmaker and as a person, I learned a lot by being on that set. And today I'm gonna to share three different things that I learned on the set of Free Guy that I think can help you on your filmmaking journey. So let's get into it. What's up everybody, my name is Nate Killian and on this channel I make short films, comedy skits, filmmaking tutorials and my goal is to help you grow as a storyteller and take your first steps as a filmmaker. So like I said, I was an extra in this movie but I did have a chance to see a lot of you know, what was going on and how things were done and I'll speak a little bit to my personal experience as well. So that being said, I have three different takeaways that I took away from being on the set of Free Guy. These are just some things that I think would be good to know and some things that you can add to your arsenal while you're being a director or an actor in your filmmaking journey. So with that being said, let's get into it. So the first thing that I learned while being on the set of Free Guy is that the days are long. I was there for like six days, I think. We shot this back in 2019, so it feels like a lifetime ago. But yeah, I had to be there at like 5, 5.30 a.m. every single day. That was my call time. And I had days where I didn't leave till 8 p.m. So the days were extremely long. Pretty much every day was a guaranteed 12 hours. Now, I can't speak for every major movie set, but I have friends who work in this industry and they work on films like this all the time. And what I hear from them, general consensus, days are pretty long. Pretty long days, something, just something to know. And sometimes it felt really, really long because as an extra, there were, there were times where I wasn't being used in a certain scene or I wasn't being used in a certain shot. So I did a lot of sitting and waiting and standing around, you know, waiting to be put in a scene. But I just tried my best to make the most of it, you know, really tried to take it all in, tried to learn as much as I could. And that's why I'm now making this video. Second thing that I learned is a cool directing technique. So there's this one scene in Free Guy where a guy, played by Ryan Reynolds, is driving through Free City trying to escape the city as, you know, the buildings and stuff are crashing around him. And Keys, played by Joe Keery, who is in the real world, is off, like, secretly counter-hacking everything, kind of, like, protecting him, building ramps for him to drive out of the city with and, and so forth. So while this scene is happening, you see Keys in the corner of the office. He's sitting by a window and he's on his laptop and he's kind of, like, aggressively typing and and counter hacking to protect guy so i got to see this being shot and what was cool is that the director sean levy he used music to help direct joe keery he played this like intense upbeat music to help joe really get into the emotion of the scene now you obviously aren't hearing the same music that was playing in the room in the movie because they took all the room sound out and then you know, added in all the sounds in post-production. So that's just a helpful tip for you. If you are a director looking for some other ways to direct your actors, use some music. Now, the third takeaway that I have from being on the set of Free Guy is actually something that I already do and I've always done, but seeing it on this level, on this film set, just reaffirmed it for me. So the third thing that I took away from Free Guy is not everything you film needs to be in the script. Let me clarify. There's context here. Taika Waititi plays Antoine. He's like the game company owner in the movie. And he's absolutely hilarious. But something you probably didn't realize is that a lot of his lines were improvised. So on set, we watched him do like a ton of different takes of like, they're you know, trying out different lines, different words, different actions, different movements. And pretty much everybody was just trying super hard not to laugh while they were on set. Now, I don't know what the original script said, but it definitely wasn't what was coming out of this dude's mouth. But the director loved it. And most importantly, it worked for his character and it worked for him as an actor. So to clarify, I wouldn't say like, improvise everything. Obviously, don't do that. There's a script for a reason. But I would say, 
don't be afraid to step away from the script and allow your actors to improvise allow yourself to improvise if you come up with a line and you want to try it out or your actor comes up with something and they want to try it out try it out give actors the freedom to own the character but of course if they start to get away from who you envision this character to be that's when you step in and direct them and yeah it's kind of it so just loosen up you know just loosen up loosen up a little bit all right closing thoughts it was a cool experience got to meet joe keery i got to bump his shoulder in this sh in this shot got to talk to him and meet him great guy great guy that that whole experience of like doing that shot whole other story in itself maybe i'll share it another time really cool experience anyways got to stand next to ryan reynolds for like a whole minute didn't even talk kind of just kind of breathe the same air for a minute much taller in person realistically not that tall but taller than i expected for sure but those are the three different things that i took away from free guy that i think could help you as a filmmaker or an actor or just in general on your filmmaking journey so hey if you like this video give it a like because believe it or not it actually helps me and the channel a ton when you do that and if you haven't already would love for you to subscribe to the channel because that would be pretty dope so i am nate killian thanks for watching keep telling stories and i'll see you in the next video oh wait you think i forgot last time i said i was gonna talk to you hey how you doing though? You good? You alright? Just making sure. Click that video. Or if you're feeling real crazy, click that one.